You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a familiar face to Greater Brockton. I have my friend Michael Molino. Michael, welcome. Hi, Mark. Good Thank to you. see you. Uh, fellow Rotarian, yes. and um, Mike has been working with the Charity Guild for a number of years. Eight years now. Um, and I know you've gone not really into retirement. Well, I am ending my time as a paid employee on December 28th. Who's counting? But, okay. Uh, and Which, after that, I'll continue on as a volunteer. Hope to work Tuesday mornings in the food pantry, packing bags or whatever, and be around to answer people's questions about well, what I've been doing for eight years. You've done a great job, Michael. Thanks, And Mark. you have a great volunteer board that is so helpful and so supportive of the community of Brockton. I don't know what Brockton would do without the Charity Guild. Well, thanks. They are a good board, and we have a, a great dynamic new president, Patty Lawton, mm -hmm. who took over this month, and uh, we're off to a good start. We've also got some dynamic new board members who have great ideas and I uh, think are going to lead us in some good new directions. I told Patty when I talked to her last week, I said, have different people come on. Mm -hmm. Introduce themselves to the community, yeah. because um, what happens when you get involved, you get sucked in. Mm -hmm. You end up, uh, you could be a board member, you could be a volunteer at the thrift store, mm -hmm. you could help packing the, mm -hmm. the groceries on a Tuesday right. morning like right. yourself. Right. Well, so, um, yeah. we, you have, we have positions for all time commitments, a little or a lot, and uh, the door's open. So we're here to promote the big gala mm -hmm. that you do every year. It's October 11th. October 11th. It's a that's... Thursday. Mm -hmm. And right. where, it, where is it? This year, for the first time, it is going to be at the Canoe Club Ballroom um, in West Bridgewater, 2 South Street. And uh, we're excited about going to this beautiful uh, new venue, new for us. And, and we charity? Hope to, we hope to get 200 people. Okay, because we all know, unfortunately, Brockton right now is without to function facilities. I know, that was quite a, um, quite a blow. We, we missed Shaw's and Massasoit, and uh, I hope something will arise in their place. Well, I do too. I'm yeah. hoping we can get our culinary students at Southeastern mm -hmm. and the ones at Massasoit, somehow we need a space for them to yeah. do that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, because I'll tell you, when you eat that food, uh, if you ate it all the time, you'd be in trouble because it's so good. When we do a school committee meeting, we end up with some of those desserts. And um, I'm glad I don't work there full time because I would be rather large yeah, at this point. Yeah. But so the event is, it, it's, it's, it's a gala. It okay. is. It so is what's the theme this year? Um, the theme this year is uh, honoring a special person, and that's Representative Claire Cronin, who has done many things in our community, including... Uh, being a member of the Charity Guild for some years, so we are honoring her for her service to, to us and to the, the greater Brockton area. Okay, Claire and I are classmates. She was class of 78, I was mm -hmm. class of 79. She wouldn't mind me saying that. I'm sure not. We went to elementary yeah. school at the Whitman School together, huh? and uh, we both ran for the same office, but you know what? We're good friends because you don't have to be... You don't have to be negative in politics. Oh, well, that's right. You can right. be Didn't friends you? in politics mm -hmm. and still get along with people at the end of the day. I was just at an yeah. event we were talking about that. Claire invites me every year into the State House for the Hanukkah menorah lighting. Mm -hmm. So I go, and it's from the first year she took office, right after the election, to present. Um, she She's in Easton. My, my folks live in Easton. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of connections, and she's done a lot of great work. Um, the chair of first female chair of the House Judiciary Committee mm -hmm. in Massachusetts, and uh, she was always involved. She was involved in high school like I was, so oh. it's it's nice to see the honor. So how yeah. would people? Um, it it fills up fast, especially with two hundred places, because yeah. when you had more mm -hmm. space at the Shaws or Massasoit. You had more tickets, well, so get your tickets early, right? right? Well, it's even too late to be early, but uh, it's filling up nicely. We are selling a lot of tickets. There are some left, but uh, really we have one more week to uh, let the caterer know, the venue know exactly how many people are going to be there. So I would say September 27th is the, the date of decision. Okay, so, so anybody, phone number, yep, website, yep. Anybody, best way Anybody, uh, I would say call um, anybody that would like a ticket or even it's still possible to take an ad in our program or be a sponsor at that point. But just um, one more week to go. So call me. Phone number. Michael Molino. Yeah. 508-510-9166. And I'll take care of the rest. There you go. Couldn't be better than that. Um, entertainment. 
Well, we will have uh, Michael Nicoli and his Alley Quartet um, playing during the event. And uh, we're lucky to have them. They're great. I know that last name. Is that the Nicoli <laughs> oil? oil you buy family? oil around here? Yes. Yeah. And because I know Nicole. Lorraine's involved, right? Lorraine's a great supporter, and her daughter Julie is on our board. Michael okay. is married to Julie, and uh, the Nicoli family has been tremendous supporters over the years. Right. I'm grateful to them. Okay. Anything I haven't asked you about yet that you want to talk about? Mm. I see. Uh, there's a you get you got. I see the sponsors on there. You probably have. You said you have room for more. We do. For sure. about a week. Um, yeah, you can be a sponsor for uh, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. A uh, silver sponsor will get you a table for eight. Mm -hmm. Those are the standard tables. Okay. Plus, they add the program, and those are especially popular. But uh, we have others. We thank Good Samaritan for being a platinum this oh. year, two okay. years in a row. Nice. They're a great supporter, too. Excellent. And um, so, general info at this point, I don't know what I have left for time. I think I might have. Three minutes. Okay. okay. I just got the cue. Well, so just general about the Charity Guild, mm -hmm. hours that you're open, the thrift store, sure. or just how to get involved. Sure. Well, we consider ourselves Brockton's homegrown, independent, non-sectarian food charity. We've been around since 1971, where 17 people from the Brockton area got together to address the uh, economic reversals in the city at the time, contributed items from their own kitchens to start our first first food pantry. We've moved a couple of times over the years, but now we are at 501 Main Street at the corner of Dover. And we have a thrift shop there that is open six days a week from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is a great place to um, find a bargain and uh, support the good works of our food pantry, which is open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Um, if anybody thinks they could use the services of the pantry, they should just come in during that, that time period. Again, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday mornings. Bring two forms of ID, mm -hmm. and uh, we can get them going with some food the first day. Couldn't be better than mm -hmm. that. Couldn't be easier. Mm -hmm. And you guys are open on a regular basis, because I know some mm -hmm. of the food pantries that are also volunteer it might be one day a week or very limited hours or right. or every other week or something. Right. There's it's a, there's a tremendous yeah. need. Yeah. And, and and I know um, you guys have support of the business community in mm -hmm. Brockton. Um, we have some local grocery stores like Oh, yes, ab absolutely. And we get great donations from uh, Trader Joe's, Stop and Shop, Shaw's, and Costco now. That's a new alliance we made this year. So we're tremendously grateful to all of those. I'll probably lift out a few. But uh, these donations, you mean a lot. We'll bring you back or we'll bring Patty back. Fantastic. Michael, thank, thank you, you for Mark. everything you do. Always a pleasure. Sure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.